with us today as we learn how to use Cricut images and Cricut design space to make magic bands one of a kind. I have to thank one of our readers, Jackie, for bringing us this idea. She actually contacted me about my article on making uh, magic band covers and labels at home using a home printer or a personal cutting tool. What she wanted to do was to use the water slide decals like I'm showing here to cover up her magic band. But she didn't want to use my designs. She wanted to use what Cricut had for the Frozen characters. Specifically, she mentioned a little guy named Olaf. So I had to think about it. How can you use these characters and get them to fit on these bands? And using that all, using just the tool of Cricut Design Space. So let me walk through what I came up for for Jackie. If you are one of my newsletter subscribers, you have access to my magical tutorial page, which has this freebie for download. In it, you have the printable, which is just a PDF document, but you also have these PNG files. These PNG files can be used with the print and cut feature of Cricut and also for Silhouette, I believe. But if you want to use it to layer other things, you have to do things a little bit differently. So let me show you how. Okay. The first thing you're going to need to do is to upload one of the bands. You're going to do that with the upload image feature. You're going to browse for that image and it doesn't matter which image you use, just pick one of them. Open it up. It doesn't really matter which one of you choose these. I use complex image just because it's easier. Click, click continue. And then when you're here, what you're going to do is instead of what you would normally use is this print then cut if you were going to make the Baymax one, you're going to use the save as a cut image. All you have to do is save that and now add it to your project. I'm going to make this big enough so we can use this just as a demo. The dimensions aren't correct, but if you go to my article, which will be linked in the show notes below, you can get the actual dimensions um, for the Magic Band covers. So now once you're here, all you're gonna need to do is start designing it. You can use all the images in the Cricut library. Of course, some of those are paid for, some of those are free. In the case of the Frozen characters, they are paid for. But what you can do is just choose the ones you like. I'm going to choose a couple here and you're going to hit insert images. Take your time and design it how you would like it. Once you've got the images where you think you're going to want them, go ahead and change the background color of the band to what you would like. In this case, blue is perfect for Olaf. And then you also need to make sure that this time that that band is also a print setting. Go ahead and change that. Now here's where it gets a little interesting. The next step of this is sort of counterintuitive, so bear with me. You take the back layer, which is the band layer, and you're gonna to wanna to arrange it where it isn't fully in the front. Now you can see all three of these are print functions and the, the band is in the front. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the top item and, one of the, and any element that is vertical, and what I mean by that is not rotated. These things have to be in their original orientation that they are in the files. It's a quirk of the Cricut system, but if something's rotated and you try to slice it, it really makes the things wonky. You're going to get bits and pieces of things you didn't expect. So now hit slice, and there you go. You've got little parts of them. What you can do now is you can find out where those areas are that aren't wanted, and you can go ahead and delete them. So you've got one Olaf on there. So now what you have to do to take care of that issue with the rotation is select all items and you're going to spin, rotate them all the way around so that upside down item is now on the right side. You can also get rid of some of these extra areas. And now again you need to bring the background item to the front and make sure that it is in print. Select the band and uh, the Olaf that is now vertical and again hit slice and let's get rid of those little areas that we don't need anymore and now you have an Olaf band but if you were to print it at this point and try to cut it it's not going to work so let me just show you see at this point you still got two Olafs and a band so what you do instead is you go back select all of the items and attach now when you go to print it it's going to print and cut just one band. So there you go. 
you now have an Olaf band or any band. Now your imagination can run wild because with, I think it's over 10,000 elements in the Cricut Library, you can make your magic bands look like anything you want to. I hope this has been educational. And if you have any other questions, you can contact me at maryd73 at capturingmagicalmemories.com. Have a great day.